All right, fast forward to um, how to buy coins like Save Moon and um, some other Shalai coin because the most important thing is how to buy it. If you don't know how to buy it, you might um, um, uh, not um, be okay with what we are doing in the group. So there's need to know how to buy shalai coin and like i said previously please be very very careful all right don't put money you can't afford to lose don't because um you you are seeing people making money in the group maybe people are telling you ah i put this amount of money and i made this so money and the i put this i made this and because of that you want to go and put your money don't put more than what you can afford all right only put what you know that okay if you lose this money you won't feel really pain because the thing is there's money in shall i do so i can make you huge money overnight but at the same time it can make you poor overnight if you put all your life savings in fact it can send it to your village in fact any money you put in shall I, just consider the money gone until the money is what now profitable that is the truth I lose money and I make money with Shalai. So that is just the truth. If, if there's anyone that says you only make money, Shalai, that person is lying. You will definitely lose money. The only thing is just that I invest in so many Shalai that I remember if I, if I invest in 10 a day, I know that at least at worst two or three would with, with give me back the money I spent on them. At least the money I've spent on them. And I have, I, if I don't want to invest in Shalai, I mean, I don't put more than 40 $45 on each, each one. That is my own power. The only time I put more money on a coin, if I said, okay, this, this coin has established itself and okay, it's, it's good to go and this is not a scam anymore. Yeah, this thing even do, then I can put money, I can decide to put, I can decide to put maybe 100 or 200 dollars or 500 dollars on it. But that does not mean because I put 500 dollars on it, it's a coin. No. There are some coins I put 500 dollars on yesterday, they are back to 200 something dollars. Even though they went as high as one thousand the five hundred dollar i put on it produced one thousand two hundred and eighty something dollars times more than times two of the money but i did not remove it even the ones i put thirty dollar yesterday did one thousand six hundred dollar i did not remove it and it fell back to one fifty dollar remember i bought it at thirty dollar it went straight to one thousand six hundred dollar from the thirty dollar i put on the i did not remove anything and it fell down again to one fifty even when it came down to one fifty i still bought another fifty dollar worth of it and it's back going up again and it's currently at at least it has given me another maybe 450 now but i'm not selling the reason why i did not sell because i believe in it i want to leave it for long term so even if it goes up again now as high as one thousand six or two thousand dollars i can just remove maybe like one thousand dollars and leave the rest as moon bag so that is what we do in shalai we, there's what we call moon bag moon bag is when you put maybe like twenty dollars in a coin all right you put twenty dollars in a coin then maybe your thirty dollar you put in the coin or your own ten dollar you put in the coin has made maybe like two hundred dollars. Okay, to be on the silver side, you can quickly remove hundred dollar from the two hundred dollar. That hundred dollar you remove is your capital and an extra profit. The remaining hundred dollar you leave there in the quarter of dollar or the remaining hundred you leave the remaining coin worth hundred dollar there. The one you leave there is called moon bag. It means whether you you should leave down down can continue generating more profit or even if anything happens at the point of that you will know that you did not lose like as far as you've already make you've already withdraw your capital and some profit fine leave the rest there's some coin i've withdrawn my capital and the rest and even the one i left are still about five still what about five hundred dollars two hundred and one thousand dollars i'm leaving them because i know i've removed my capital and i've removed my profit so even if anything happened to them no problem but there are some i did not remove it fine it will be painful though but I know that it still go back up at the point. That is cryptocurrency for you. Okay? So that is just... So now I want to show you how to what, buy Shalai. Before you buy Shalai, you need Smart Chain BNB. Like I usually say, you need Smart Chain BNB. Before you buy Shalai, you need BNB. You need two things. You need Trust Wallet. I usually... I'm always using Trust Wallet. You can go to Play Store and download Trust Wallet. If you don't have... For those who are still new to it, you need an app called Trust Wallet. All right? So... Um, I just bought one coin now, so the other just um, got executed. The coin I was using, one um, crypto something I was using, as example. Then, so you need Trust Wallet. 
It's a very, very, it's very, very important. I have to update mine. This is Trust Wallet, official Trust Wallet. Please, please, always make sure the Trust Wallet you are downloading has about 5 million plus download and 4 point, almost 244k reviews because they are fake Trust Wallet. So just type Trust Wallet and it will bring you to the right one. You see the right DApps platform in. You see it's 16 MB, 3 plus rating, 5 million plus download. And if it is not, if it is not, if it does not have the almost similar thing like they don't download, they are fake ones. All right, so they asked me to upload, update it. I will update it later. But for the sake of this video, just download your one. After downloading your trust wallet, open it. All right, so where is my trust wallet? Okay, this is my trust wallet here. You open it. You open your trust wallet. All right, so if you open it, this is not my main wallet. I just store some little BNB here for, uh, I want to use it to buy the dip. Uh, some coins, once the dip, I buy back because I made profit from them. So I have to remove it. So now you come here. When you open your trust wallet, you won't see anything like this, all right? It will only see the interface welcome message, then it tell you to create wallet. And if you want to create wallet, it will look like, let me just quickly create a um, fresh wallet so that you can see how it will be. So when you come to the hand, this is exactly how you see when you open it. Then you can swipe, you can swipe, you will swipe. Then it will ask you to create wallet, just click on create wallet. For those that does not have wallet, then after clicking create wallet, then click on continue, all right? Then if you click on continue, see this word is called this your recovery phase. See, this recovery phase you are seeing here is very, very important. In fact, this thing is the real deal. This thing is as important as your ATM pin. Not your ATM, your ATM pin. This thing, all right, you are seeing here is as important as what? As your ATM pin. All right. Nothing. In fact, this thing, you you are the only one that have access to this recovery phase. Never, never should you give it to someone else. In fact, if you are a guy, this your recovery phase. You, no matter how love, how in love you are, don't give your girlfriend. That is the fucking truth. Anything can happen. Your girlfriend might have someone else she is dating. And like, if you say it because it's your baby, you say make you help you keep this, and you have money there. Maybe you have about ten, twenty thousand dollars there. If you give anyone this thing, the person can remove your money because if you like set pin. As far as this, someone have access to it, they can wipe your money. They will just go to her. They will just because you can have 20 phones on ground and you can log in. You can input this thing on those 20 phones at the time and it will enter at one time and they, everybody will be controlling it. So this thing, that's what they call private key. They will say you should write it down and keep it safe. This thing is in cryptocurrency. This is a decentralized, um, decentralized wallet. A decentralized wallet means it's not being controlled by anybody. This app, they only created it to allow you in the to with it because... You know, they just created to allow interact with it. But these things is directly from blockchain. Even Trust Wallet in their self does not have access to this your recovery phase. They don't know anything about it. They only developed the app to interact with blockchain. And it's from blockchain all these things is being generated. So if you lose the recovery phase, you can't contact Trust Wallet app to help you recover. No one can help you to recover it in this world. No one. No one can ever help you recover this. If you lose it, you've lost it for life. That's why there are so many wallets filled with Bitcoin. The owners are there, but no one can retrieve it. Why? Because they don't know their recovery phase. They don't know all these things. So you have to keep it very, very safe. All right? So copy this thing. Write it down somewhere safe. In fact, you can store it anywhere you know. You won't forget it. But please make sure. All right? I know how I decode my own, but I won't be explaining this video for security purpose. How I decode my... How I encode my recovery phrase so that even if um, another person even sees it they will not know what it means they will in fact they won't even know that is the recovery phase they won't even know so with me i can change all these words because i'm i'm, I'm i understand yoruba i can change all this word recovery phrase of mine to yoruba i just write it down one two three i will write all of them down in yoruba but i know what it means i know the english version of them of everything so i have different way of encoding my recovery phrase that even if the third purchase party sees they won't know the meaning that I, that I even write it in Yoruba, I won't arrange it the same way they arrange it. I will scatter it, but I know I will arrange my thing by because I will give a sign of how we, what we confess. Because this thing was confessed. Like, you see these things you are seeing like this. This traffic, wet, empty, and blah, blah, you are seeing this way. If wet comes first and traffic comes second, it will create a different entirely wallet. This same thing you are seeing here. If you shuffle it and you, you shuffle it, maybe the last came first, the second came third. It's not the same as this. So when trying to import your wallet, you can import your wallet. When trying to import your wallet, it must be the same arrangement. You must not mix it up. If you mix it up, it, it's, entire, it's, it's a different wallet entirely. There's nothing. And once you lose this thing, you, in fact, if you have $1 trillion in it, 
and you lose this your recovery phase, the money is gone forever. No one will have access to it, but the money is just gone forever. Except you have access to it. That anyone that is keeping cryptocurrency died, someone else, or even the person died, the, the money don't go. No, no one can have access to it. That's why I see some many wallets with lots of cryptocurrency, but no access. No one have ever accessed it because maybe the owners might have died, or maybe some are in the prison. But the truth is, the truth is, the truth is, no one should ever have access to this recovery phase. Not even your best friend. Even my best friend, I, I can't take my best friend my recovery phase though. There are some reasons. I'm not saying it will, it will take my money though, but I don't know. He might be careless with it and someone else, but the thing is, recovery phase should be personal. Recovery phase should be personal. If I want to give someone my recovery or something, I want to show somebody something, I'd rather move some part of my cryptocurrency to another wallet, which I can then give someone else. Like the wallet I'm using for this video tutorial is not my main wallet. All right, so that is just how to. From here, you copy this thing down because when we click on continue, they will ask us to input this thing the way it is. All right, they will ask us to input it. So, um, I would just ah, my phone is dead, I would have taken pictures of this thing. Then, if you click on continue, I will copy it. I will click on continue. Now, they will start, tell you to start writing everything down, you know, blah blah blah. blah. They will start write, telling you to write it, you'll be pressing it, you press it, you press it, you press it. You, but this is wrong. You, you see, it's invalid order. Try again. Because I, I, I'm just giving you some. Once you are done pressing everything, they will not click on done. Once you click on the, this done, you now take it to your wallet address. So I don't I don't really have done my before. So so I don't need that. I already have this. So it will take you a year. All right. So once you are here, you go back to this setting again. All right, go back to this setting down here. You click on the wallet down here. You see these three dots. See these three dots down here. Click on it. If you want to see your recovery, recovery freeze, you click on this thing, but I won't show my recovery freeze, never. So you see this security, okay, you come down to this security down here. Let me enter. From this security, you can now set password to your wallet if you want to log in on your phone. Only set password. Because if you do leave, if you, after creating the wallet, anyone can access it. And anyone can move your, you, someone can just collect your wallet, uh, like, uh, your phone. Ah, guy, keep, give me your phone, I want to do something. And by the time they give the patient the phone, you can just log into your trust wallet and quickly send your coin out and give your phone back and go. So that's why you come to security, make sure you set passcode there. So auto, I put it at auto immediately. Me, I put it immediately. If I if I if I skip this thing now, if I minimize like this and I try to go back to it, it, it will ask me to see it. It will ask me to unlock it again. I'll just put my thing this thing. So me, I enable uh um how are they calling it? Uh, biometric. You can enable biometric here like using fingerprint to unlock it. Alright, so me, I prefer fingerprint, but I have passcode to that I use. So set your passcode and also set your fingerprint and make it and uh, set auto lock to immediately. Alright, transaction signing, you can enable transaction signing so that for every coin you want to send, for every coin you want to send to someone, it will ask you for PIN before they send it. So for security purposes, also you can decide to send it, but I did not set my own because I know that for you to access my trust wallet, then you see that you know my PIN or you know my uh code but transaction signing is good the reason why transaction signing is good which i might consider enabling enabling it is because uh some smart contracts might want to send your coin automatically but if you were enable transaction signing you have to sign it you, need, you have to ask you to sign it yourself like if you ask you for code it will ask you that do you agree to send this also blah 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 if you click here before the coin sent so but i won't enable transaction signing for this wallet so but you you can do that but make sure you know your code because it might, if you ask you for some code before you can sign a particular transaction. So once you are done with that, now you will come to this wallet right there. You see all this wallet right there, but you, you might not see all these things there. You might only see Bitcoin, normal BNB. You might not see this smart chain self. You might not see this smart chain. You might just see normal BNB. You know, smart chain is different from BNB. BNB is just, only BNB you can send. Those BNB, that BNB cannot use it to buy any other coin because it's just BNB. But smart chain is, is, is a blockchain version, is a, is a blockchain type that allows you to buy any coin, all right? 
this my BNB, this my smart chain wallet address, this this smart chain wallet address here you are seeing right here, this receiving address here. If I copy it, I can send any BIP20 token. BIP20 token are token on Binance Smart Chain um, ecosystem, Binance Smart Chain blockchain uh, ecosystem uh, or Binance blockchain. Any other token I send there, all right? Maybe now I'll do say save moon. Or if I send save moon to this same blockchain, it will enter. If I send um, save mass, it will enter. If I send moon rats to it, it will enter. If I send any form of token I send to this my smart chain, it will enter. She you grab <laughs> even this SWGB. This SWGB. If you, if you look at this, if, you, if this SWGB you are seeing right here, this SWGB you are seeing right here. If I send it to that. Um, this smart chain address, it will enter. It will now show as SWGB, all right? Because they have the same wallet address. See, it's receiving. See, it's 759 and down. 75 end it. So if you come to this um, Binance smart chain, you see that it's the same address. This is the same wallet address. So it's the same wallet address. So it will enter. That is the difference between uh, uh, this um, Binance smart chain and BNB. But if it is BNB, if it is normal BNB here, yeah. see this BNB here. Yeah. If it is normal BNB, where is even it? This wrap BNB, this this BNB, normal BNB. Uh, okay, this BNB. We see that the wallet address is different. PNB, blah 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 blah. You see it is different. This one can only receive BNB, only BNB from Binance. You can you cannot send smart if you send smart chain BNB to this wallet address, it will not go, it will lose your BNB, it will disappear. It can because smart chain BNB is different from the normal BNB. Smart chain BNB is on is is, is uses a protocol called BIP20. This one is the whole protocol. BNB has now upgraded it to smart chain since they have they roll out their blockchain. That is why. And you cannot send any other coin to this BNB. You can only send BNB alone. If you send maybe like all those safe token, maybe SWGB to this one, you no go enter, you don't lose the coin, but like the coin don't go for vanishing. So that is why we are not using this. We are no longer we no longer use this BNB. It's not advisable to use it. There's nothing one want to use it for. So you use by smart chain because it's the same price. So it's better to use smart chain. So when you first log in, you see that BNB. So what you have to do next is just come to this um, this um, search right here. So you can start searching for the necessary this thing you want to buy, uh, the necessary coin to enable them. You can now search for a BNB. You see smart chain BNB, just turn it on. All right. Or, or wrapped BNB. Wrap BNB too is okay. You just turn smart chain BNB on. Turn it on here. Because we are gonna need it. Alright, so turn it on. So I make sure I turn that one on because that is what is important in this hour tutorial to start buying. So although we are still gonna be using these functions to search for coins that we buy, because some coin might not appear here after buying them. So we have to use that smart contrast contract to search for them here. So that is how to set up your wallet and next one is how to go and buy because one of this is the journey on how to buy save moon token so we need bnb to start smart chain bnb to start buying so i want i'll walk you through how to buy from binance all right how to successfully buy bnb from binance and send it here so this is the end of this particular video